Hello and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. Last episode we cleared out the hunting grounds and now we're going to uh, to uh, talk to Jamal Vizzer. I, mean, I think that's how you say his name and, and give him the two heads that we uh, received from those greater creatures. Can't see much from here. I wish I could join the hunt and get, get a couple of heads myself. Two trophies. I never have guessed that you would best us like this. Would you like to announce the end of the hunt, or do you hope to claim yet another trophy? Uh, sound the horn. The hunt is over. As you wish. Now that the hunt's over, let's see how it turned out. Um, how did our Mivani guest fare? Our honorable guest from Mivan fought one of the monsters, but they couldn't defeat it. Their bodies are on their way home as we speak. With any luck, Mivani Aldori can afford the resurrections, but their fate be a lesson to anyone who would underestimate the threat of magical beasts. How did our Pitaxian guest fare? Our honorable guest from Pitax managed to bag a single squirrel. Well, I hope they at least had a good time. Alright, and how did the Ambeth Travelers fare? We defeated one of the beasts, but her grace, noble ruler of these hunting grounds, has accomplished a true feat in gathering more trophies than us. Such skill deserves a deep and genuine respect. So who won? You, your grace. 2,500 coins and 12 exquisite pearls. The hunt is officially over. Thank you all for your participation. We got the quest, uh, not quest achievement, but right. What the hell? That dude just fucking... Did he become an owlbear, or did... I think he, uh... Like, an owlbear was, like, came out of a portal right on top of him. That's freaky. Well, we're gonna impress, so... There we go. I think that was an 80-something. Disgusting. Well, at least now we know where these monsters have been coming from. If the public learns of this, there'll be no stopping the panic. I recommend we keep this incident quiet for the time being. I'll conduct an investigation without drawing anyone's attention, and in a month's time, I'll inform you of the, inform you of the results. Let's go with this. Uh, the people have a right to know what threatens them. Spread this information on this event as wide as possible. As you say. Let's just be honest with them. The servant got decimated. Looks like a uh, normal longsword. Precisely. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else? Wait for the royal council to gather. So we're gonna head back to um, head back to Tusdale, and wait for and wait for the event to trigger. Um, I'll possibly go and do like some side areas that don't have any quests. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna go do trail in the hills here. Um. Um, I don't think I'm going to show it on camera though, mainly because I, I don't think it has anything really important there. But I will show it if, uh... Oh, come on now. Oh, we can just move forward. Perfect. Um, I'm going to do this area right here. And, but we'll jump right back to, uh, Tustdale if I don't find any quests or anything like that. Or if, uh, if there's nothing really important here. All right, so I'll see you in a minute. All right, so we just got back from the trail in the hills. There was literally just one creature there. It was a mature leopard, and there was a, a plus one composite short bow, and we found a fragment of the Scorch Necklace, which is for a relic that we have. And now we're back in Tusdale. Sienna, spare me a few minutes. You are the ruler of these lands, and I don't dare tell you what to do. But I just can't stand silently, silently and watch what's happening behind your back. There are rumors on the streets of a savage goddess, enraged by your appearance in her lands. They say she's cursed you, and now you bring woe and death to everyone around you. This used to be just idle talk, but now, when, we, when we're surrounded by so much death and suffering, the people are ready to truly believe it, and it seems that someone is playing upon, upon your subject's fears. I saw barkers in the street telling citizens of a prophet who's building his own kingdom. According to them... The goddess stands ready to grant forgiveness to any who cleanse themselves of the curse. But this cleansing is accomplished through, through a terribly cruel death. These horrific deaths involve a wild beast appearing from inside the body and they think it's a blessing. Uh, 
Um, this that insane old man Remus. He's also spoke of some goddess. True. Ja told me of that preacher. Who knows? Perhaps his words touch people more deeply than anyone imagines. What is this kingdom the prophet is building? I only heard fragments of conversation. I think it's not a kingdom exactly, more like a community or a cult. I'm afraid that we'll need to find one of their barkers and ask them if we wish to find out more. The people will believe whatever they want to believe. We just of course will be. Troubling news indeed. We must find out who or what is behind the, this goddess and her fate. Good. Perhaps after uncovering this mystery, we will find out more about the nature of the curses hanging over the stolen land. I mean, there must be a reason that the, these cultists shout, shout about you receiving the goddess's punishment. If we wish to understand, we must find one of those barkers and learn from them all we can. Sadly, these street preachers scare quite easily and avoid our guards. I'll begin my search without delay. When you find time, look for me on the streets of the capital. I hope that when we meet, I will have already found someone who can tell us more about this st strange goddess and her followers. Alright, looks like that's going to be our next um, objective. Kingdom of the Cleansed. Let's talk to this guy really quick, just to give him some relics. Got a bunch of money there. There we go. We're going to head on outside. And see. Oh, and this is the composite longbow we got. We got these two dueling swords from those, um, the people from Ivan that died to the, uh, that creature. What else did we get? Give me a mighty fist. Put that there. Until we get a monk, we won't be really using those. Let's see. Can I check it out here? All right. But hopefully we can figure out what's going on here with this strange guy. So I'm, I have a feeling, a really strong feeling that it's the Guardian of the Bloom spawning. Oops, okay, I guess I chose the wrong option. But I think it's the Guardian of the Bloom spawning um, or like creating creatures inside of these people. Possibly getting fed something through the cult that makes them a beacon of some sort to teleport into. I don't know. But that servant pro that we saw um, at the hunting lodge was probably one of them. That's my guess at least. I'm not sure. Okay, greetings, your grace. Let's see, can we see Tristan on the map? Yeah, we can. He's right over here. Kind of glad that we can. Okay, looks like we found one. We are lucky to have met you, Mina Malia, loyal follower of the Kingdom of the, of the Cleansed. Do you remember? We've recently been discussing this unusual initiative. And Molly was so kind as to tell me everything that she and her friends are doing. Freckled face and looks at you with clear green eyes. She wears a simple dress and necklace made of dried ash berries and is holding a stack of papers. Um, please stay. Please stay another moment. It would be a pleasure for me to tell you about our kingdom. So what have you been discussing? I've just been asking how Amalia came to the kingdom. What attracted her to this? This teaching? I There is someone in my family who followed the goddess's commandments. Soon I myself will enter the kingdom, and I hope that through loyal service and vener veneration, I will prepare myself for the main test, which I have yet to endure. And your family, you don't mind that this will happen to you? Are they ready to sacrifice you to their goddess? Of course they are. To be one of the chosen, one of the cleansed, it's a great honor for each of us. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe this isn't the Guardian of the Bloom. But you are so young. Why hurry to leave this world before you have experienced it in full? It's wrong to think about yourself. Once I wanted to live in Restoff, wear dresses and walk down boulevards. But then these terrible things started happening. So many people in our village died. The goddess teaches that selfishness leads to trouble. Now my only wish is to serve the kingdom and the and the goddess, excuse me. What did you find out about the kingdom, Christian? The kingdom of the cleanse is the brotherhood of those who believe in the great goddess, who promises salvation in return for cleansing. Forgive me, Amalia, if I'm missing any important details. Our mission is saving innocent souls from the curse that falls upon the head of the undeserving. The goddess is ready to guard from evil anyone who kisses the ground and begs for mercy. Those who have rejected their sinful ways may enter the kingdom of the cleansed and pray for their speedy deliverance from worldly torments. 
to give your life for the goddess, isn't it the greatest honor any of us can receive? And destroying the false ruler, isn't that the truest destiny of all nature's royal servants? This, uh, what false ruler are you talking about? The baroness cursed by the goddess. She is the source of all our woes. She casts aside law, natural law and vandalized the field and forest. Okay, so she does not recognize us. Does your goddess have a name? Yes, but only the first faithful knows it. He is the high priest to whom the goddess appeared. He delivers her commandments and shows us her will. Through him she lays, upon, lays open her design to clear the tormented ground, sending signs and opening doors to her creatures through the bodies of mortals. Tell me more about this deliverance from worldly torments. I would go with this, but if I did that, she'll probably um, like um, sh uh, stop up and not tell us anymore. And having this world where ha unhappiness and unfairness multiply, taints the soul and turns it from the eternal kingdom of freedom and love granted by the goddess. But you can cleanse your sins by accepting her gift, a special goodness that sets the cleansed apart. Goodness? What goodness could hide in a painful death? Not everyone is capable capable of withstanding the test, because the way to cleansing lies through bodily torment. Those who overcome their passions and prove their loyalty become the womb of the goddess, to bear her children, wild and be beautiful as she herself. The soul of the cleansed rests in the hands of the goddess. Are you... Uh, in enough. I see you have many questions. Please take an invitation to our meetings. We meet at sunset in the appointed place where we accept the sacrament from the first faithful himself. Um, soon an another meeting will take place. Do come, you and Sir Tristian. What are you holding? Same invitation that Amalia gave you. Okay, we must go. I have to go too. I need to go to the other, get to the other side of the city. I hope to see you at our next meeting and you too, Sir Tristian. So long, Amalia. May the the good goddess save you. Interesting. He kind of lied there. A meeting at the appointed place. There are even directions how to get there. It looks like it's time we visit this sacrament. Will you come with me to the meeting? I would insist on participating in this investigation. I cannot let you go alone after I dragged you into this strange affair. What do you think awaits us at the meeting? Whatever awaits, this mysterious first faithful will be there. Judging by his title, he's the one who invented this insane kingdom. I believe that talking to him will solve many of the riddles we face. I agree. Amalia looked at you very fondly, don't you think? You distract us from our goal. Is something wrong? I worship Saren Ray myself, but my faith has little in common with the faith of these cultists. They fill the heads of innocent children with pernicious and dangerous ideas which they cannot truly understand. All right, we have to go to Tristan. All right. Looks like um, we're going to go attend this cult meeting. Um, hopefully we can bring... Let's see here. Can we bring more people? Is this a quest with... It is. It's a, it's a quest for Tristan. Uh, meetings of the... The fearless for this day has a moment before giving her answer. Okay. So we're going to go do that. And I'm guessing that has to be connected to your to um the overall goal. Oh. All right, but we're gonna go do that, and I'll we'll be right back. So we were on our way to the meeting of the cultists, but we had to cross over this bridge, bridge over the Gudrun River. So I wanted to start recording to see if uh, we find anything interesting here. Kind of just give it a look around. Ooh, a bunch of stuff right there. Keep your eyes open. Take him, have him take shots at this bear. I might just kill it. It's just a bear. It's probably not that strong. There we go. Hmm. We got some wolves. Ooh, we got a bunch of wolves. Hopefully they all just kind of pile up on the, on her. Nope, they're not. Do not talk that. Hmm. You forced my hand. Nice crit. Very nice crit. Let's see here. Level four. Level seven. 
see if we can kill this. Oh, he did. Very nice, very nice. Okay, I did not click over there, but alright, game. He's probably gonna run right up on Ekandeo. Yep. Probably wouldn't have done that if, um, if he was backed up, but... It's what it is, I guess. Just kind of walk up on this. Oh, there's another Alpha Wolf. I did forgot about him. Okay, let's rage here. Almost killed that. This will finish it. Yep. Okay. He had to. He had to get a twenty to do that. I'll try to make this quick. I aim true. Nice double kill. Okay, let's try this. I'm guessing that's what it's for, is so that you can um, mess um, up people with sneak attacks with the Arcane Trickster. Because that's what um, Octavia is now. This is an Arcane Trickster. Ro uh, rogue and uh, Wizard. Something's right here. Melted Shard of a Ring. Precisely. So we got the n another piece to that ring. Which I'm guessing becomes a um, something important. Let's see over here. New victory. Got these weird fucking like wizards with tiny hands. There's a bunch of them though. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. Maybe if they group all up, we might have an AOE of some sort. Finish that one off, I guess. Or miss entirely, that works. What are they gonna do? Ooh, he's moving towards a Myri. Interesting. I grant you a little strange in my opinion. They're starting to really group up here though. Which is good. We're definitely not getting close enough to hit, so let's just um throw this. <laughs> Literally one damage. So we're gonna move right here. Hit this guy. That works. Guess we might as well charge. Christian's starting to get up. Well, I don't know if he's starting to get up there in damage, but. Ooh. We're ending the cleanse of that. I'll fight if I have to. Yeah, she got poisoned. That's not good. You cannot hide from me. He's triple killed in a single, a single turn. Very nice, Ekandeo. Very nice. Okay, she saved against it, so she only took Done with two. Fighting. Yeah, she took two. Um, let's see here. I think he has something to take care of this. Serious, serious. Actually, being spells, right? Weird. Could have sworn he had it. She'll be okay for right now. I when we rest, dude. Okay, that's trapped. Uh, no one in 
about it. I did have you there we go. Ooh, half quay. Let's look at this. Well, the only person that can equip is Valerie. Plus two half quay. Yeah, it's not better. Hmm. Damn shame. Let's see anything over here. The way seems clear. Oh, we can run right here. I believe I found something. Let's finish them quick. That's a lot of wolves. Nowhere to run. Oh, we got glitter dust off on all of them. That's great. Stay behind me. They're very weak. Which is good. Wolves considered evil? No, they're just neutrals. Let's just go after this guy. He missed? They all should miss. Because of their blindness. From the glitter dust. That the only one that shouldn't miss is this guy here. Yeah, they have concealment. Like well we have concealment to them because of our this is probably going to kill mo all of them. There we go. Keep heading across the bridge here. Ooh, what's this? Sorry, I am a, a hoarder to say the least. What is our level now? We're almost level 9. Oop, nope, nope, nope. They should have known better. I sh can fuck that up, that's for sure. What level are these guys? Eight. 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 I'm gonna delay until Ekendeo. Let us strike at one! Let's go after this one. Maybe we can get a sneak attack. Yep, we did. And then can we charge that one? Yes, we can. Knocked it down. This should kill. Yep. I can tell you just hit so hard. All missed. finished it off. Then we're just gonna skip Tristian's turn. His turn does not matter. Skip. Skip. Hit. Killed. Done. There's no reason to get them moved up here if we're just gonna kill without without their help. Quiet footsteps. Oh got a cave here. <gasps> uh... Uh... I want to kill it so bad. Precisely. All right, so what we're gonna, we're definitely setting up for this guy. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna change the spell books and all that. And I'll show you what I choose at the end. Sorry about that. I forgot to start up, start the fight up again. So I went back to, um, 
to um, Tusdale and grabbed a cold um, iron weapon, and we uh, buffed up with protection from energy, fire, and protection from evil. Um, put up good hope. Um, oh, we didn't bless yet, but we're gonna bless. We're we're just completely buffed up. All right, here we go. I think we can definitely kill this. It is a level 16 evil uh, dragon. But I'm super excited to kill this. And that's exactly how we start start by killing it. Okay, crushing despair. Probably it's failed. We saved against the saved against that though. Okay, let's move right here. Right here. I just want to make sure I get everyone with the bless. We're going to try to keep the acid arrow up at all times. So it's got one more round left. So he's going to focus on um, Valerie, it seems. She is the only one that can technically kill him. Because of her cold iron weapon. She's the only one with it. So we do need to be careful on her dying. But the ones that are going to get him down to that point where we can do that is going to be everyone else. Okay, let's use this. Full attack. Okay, how much longer do we have on haste? Two more rounds. Alright, let's cast Bane. He will save against it. Let's uh, use this again. Okay, it's not worth using that. That's good. Ooh. Come on, can you hit once? I grant you death. We need more hits like that from Ekandeo. My. Valerie. Okay, let's um let's just use this. Twelve damage. And that's back off, so we're gonna put it back on. Twenty damage sneak attack. Phenomenal. Come on, can we just hit? Cannot hide from me. I don't think it's actually regening anymore because of the cold iron. Come on. Oh, it got reduced. Yes! We killed him! We fucking killed a dragon at level fucking... Uh, um, he's not actually level 7. We're level 8. And we just killed a dragon. Let's go. Really? Only 54 gold? There has to be more. There has to be something awesome in here. Ooh. Ooh. Taldan whip. Um, okay, this is what we got. Flaming Earthbreaker plus two. And then we got this hat. Professor's hat with subclass similar to bags of home. That's awesome. Who's going to wear the hat? Who shall wear the hat? No. No. Looks like Ekendeo. Put on this fancy hat. There you go. What a fancy boy. That was awesome. That was really cool. Um, let me check time here. I completely lost track of time. I got so focused on doing that. Let's see here. Seven. Yeah, we're going to end the episode here. Um, so this episode did not go how I expected it to. I had no idea this dude was here. That was really freaking cool. Careful now. Like, I'll be honest. Uh, throughout most of this uh, playthrough, since we became a Baroness, I've been kind of um, really putting this game off. But that alone actually really helped me um, enjoy this game. I felt like we did something that we probably shouldn't have been able to do. We got that. Can't do anything with it. 
All right. Quiet but thanks for watching. In the next episode, we will uh, go to the meeting for the cultists. All right, and I'll see you there. Have a good one.